Hey everyone, welcome to a beautiful day in Taiwan. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be going to a national park today and uh, first things first, uh, in Taiwan I wanted to get breakfast here and uh, we are actually at this place right here um, getting breakfast. So this here is a um, like a sort of pancake thing here in Taiwan and we're just going to be ordering it now. There's a bit of a line there but this is what we'll be having. So yeah you can have this with like just the pancake itself and the flour or you can have it with like um, ham and egg, dried radish and egg, bacon and egg and the one I'll be getting is the egg corn kernel cheese and ham one which is a flaky scallion pancake. So let's go ahead and have breakfast and we are going to be ordering it. Let's go. All right guys we are going to get the egg corn cheese and ham so he's going to make it for us right now. All right, there you go. Ooh, that must be the ham right there. Oh, it definitely smells good, doesn't it? There's egg. Oh, he chucks it in there. Oh, that is oil. Scrambled egg. <laughs> wow, so here is all his ingredients, everyone. That's where he puts the scrambled egg. There's the eggs, there's the corn, there's the cheese, and some bacon bits as well as the chicken over there. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna have a quick look at that. Wow. Yeah, he's super quick with his hands, everyone. This is what street food is all about in Taiwan. Amazing. There's one. There is one, and my one's coming up soon. There you go. Yes, all right, so we've got our food now. That one's my one. Thank you very much. So we're gonna be having this and eating this. Yay! All right, let's eat it. Get it to the main station. Okay, let's get to the main station and eat this at the same time. So which way is the main station? All right, so, um, I have my friend Alan here, he's a bit nervous, so he won't be speaking as much on camera. Um, but the thing is, we're going to be having this uh, awesome scallion pancake. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a bite of this and see what it's like. It looks super, su it's super, super hot. Um, ah! My hands are burning. <laughs> you want help? Yes, please. Oh, it, it's gone green. Alright, so, let's have a bite of this. Mmm, mm, nice. Mmm, it's good. It's like really crispy like a croissant. And yeah, I've just had the egg in there as well. So like the egg. Mmm. What would you say it tastes like? Mmm. Mmm. Roti. Like a roti? Yeah. You know what? That is exactly explains what this tastes like. It's like a roti mixed with egg. And it's not too salty as well. Yeah. It's like really nicely flavoured. Not to the point that it's bland, but it's uh what would you say? I'm trying like my best to describe this. <laughs> oh, it's good. Mmm. Chewy. Mmm. Chewy. Chewy, what do you like? Pancake. So that's what we have everyone for breakfast. Amazing. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna be off to the main station and then we're going on to the next destination. Let's go. All right, so we are on the main station, Taipei main station, and what we have to get to is uh, the station Shipai to change to a bus. So this is what the uh, train station actually looks like. So they get out here, we go in here, and then there's like, uh, this is exactly what it looks like. And the top tells you exactly which station goes to. It changes from Chinese to English. So let's take this ride and go. All right, guys, so we have just gotten off the station over there. Uh, 
we are taking the 581 to Yamingshen and this is the time schedule right here and it says 9.10 and just on time it is like that we are getting on right now let's go everyone all right so we have just gotten on the bus it's kind of like a mini bus here oh, look at this oh, this is going to be taking us all the way to Yamingshen Let's go. All right, guys, it is so cold right now. I put a second jacket on. It is a windbreaker, but overall, this is the thing that is keeping me warm. It's got some wool on the side, which is awesome. Thank you, Uniqlo, for it. Um, we have just gotten to, uh, actually, we missed our stop, to be honest. So right now, we're kind of walking across, but look how beautiful this is. Wow. It was actually more beautiful up there, but this is the uh, way we are going down. It is sprinkling a little bit, uh, so... We are on an adventure to find some flowers here. Uh, <laughs> see what else they have here in Yamingshan National Park. But it is very beautiful in general. Oh, look, talking about flowers, guys. We have just found some flowers. There you go. That is beautiful. Look at that. And there's the water over there. They grow flower like they grow rice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alan pretty much just said they're growing fl uh, flowers like they're growing rice because at the top when you look at the top you kind of look like a rice field and so that's what we're having a look at right now so we found the flowers awesome but I think there are more flowers in this so let's go check it out but look how beautiful this scenery is it's so cool my hands are freezing and we're still gonna go on a venture. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. Hey guys, so we have just gotten to this area called Mad Boon Garden. And oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> oh, we just got given some nuts over here. Super, super random. Uh, but let's go check out the garden. We're here, Mad Boon Garden. I think the garden's down there. Um, we're gonna give this one a shot. Oh, thank you. And yeah, this is like a nut. It's like glazed in sugar or something. Let's give this one a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Very sugary. Nutty. Glazed in like what's it? Sugar. But hard and sugar and sugar. Okay guys. We're going to this garden here. Mmm. We just uh reached the spot. Our hands are freezing. It's cold. I'm drizzling a little bit. Um, this hat is keeping me warm. This here is great. It's just my hands that aren't protected. So, what do you can expect from the outside? This is called Mad Bang Garden. Let's have a look. Mm. Wow. Hello. 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 Garden. Would you want to get in here? You have to take a meal or take a drink. Okay. Without it. All right, guys. So this is not a free garden. Um, let's. Uh, what do you want to do? I don't care. You want to go? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay. Let's have a look from the outside, actually. All right. So it must be like where they grow their veggies and stuff. Let's go check out some other places here in Taiwan. Oh, we are freezing, so we want to keep moving as much as possible with the hands so it doesn't go numb. Let's go. So just while we're walking, uh, we couldn't get into the garden. Uh, my friend Alan doesn't want to go, and uh, I want to keep walking as well just to warm my body up. So we're going to go to the Lower Lake Trail Kala Lilies. It takes around about 10 minutes. and. Yeah, this is all we can expect. It's actually right next to the garden. So we're going to keep walking here and uh, see what we have. So guys, this is uh, some beautiful scenery right here. And uh, yeah, it's more like just an adventure for us to see what the uh, Yang Ma Shan National Park in Taiwan is like. All right. This is the place. It is drizzling a little bit. I'm super, super grateful though that it's not like raining heavily because I don't have an umbrella. I've only got my um, hoodie on. So, uh, there's the garden. 
I'm just going to walk past this. Well, that's what the garden looks like, everyone. There's some tables and cafes there. Whoa! Look at that mountain, it's covered in like fog now. It just must mean like it's really cold for it to fog up like that. Oh, look at that! There's all daffodils here. Are that daffodils? I don't even know if that's daffodils. Let's take like those white flowers. Wow! So, this is the trail. Oh, there's a lot of daffodils in that garden as well. Ah, it's like a trail, I see. So guys. I wonder if it's just, just wedgies or just flower or what? I think it's just flowers because like just looking in the garden itself, it's like a, you got a trowel there and then daffodil flowers. I'm not too sure. So you gotta keep walking and walking and walking because it is super, 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 super cool. really cool wow all right guys we're gonna finish this trail off uh see what else there is and if there's any of the highlights, I will definitely show you. So let's go. So we walk from here all the way to here. There's like a little bit of a village side here. And we've got um, cafes, I guess, here. And uh, I'm just gonna check this place out. Oh, there's actually like homes here as well. You see those like places over there. And like the interesting thing about this place is like, I feel like they're making, uh, what's it called, uh, growing like cabbage here too, which is super cool. And I was like, how do they do that in this kind of weather? So yeah, this is some beautiful place right here. It's amazing. I'm just gonna walk here, show you guys. I think that one over there must be like rice. Yeah, the ones that are really straight over there. And guys, what are these flowers? Are they daffodil flowers? I don't even know myself. That's all right. Wow, look at this. Oh, this does look really nice. Oh, I check this out. All right, so this is blocked off over here, and that goes to a separate trail. So that one must be someone else's garden. All right, that's interesting. Cool, so you know what? They actually have a system here where you actually pay to get into the uh, gardens. Oh, there is a duck over there. Alan just noticed there's a duck over there and there is a duck over there. Amazing. They're cute. They are so adorable. Oh, I think we just hit the end of the trail. That is it. Guys, welcome to Yamangshan National Park, everyone. And on this side as well. Look how beautiful these are. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, so good. So guys, we have just reached a place called Bamboo Lake. Um, it's meant to have... So, <laughs> that was me almost spraining my ankle uh, just because I was walking down these stairs and trying to multitask at the same time. Uh, so, this here is supposed to be Bamboo Lake and uh, I think because we came here during winter time, I can't really see a lot of flowers here. Um, these are, oh, these are cabbages. Oh, that's some nice artwork over there. Yes, this here is a bamboo lake. So this must be the lake here. And like, just like on the side, they've got veggies being grown right now. I think this is meant to be the purple flower they have on Google. But, um, 
<clears throat> uh, like I said, I think I came at the wrong time, which is okay, because uh, you can see in all seasons, right? Check it out. All right. Now, what do we have here? Okay. Walking and walking. Ooh, these ones have bloomed. Four flowers that have bloomed. Amazing. <laughs> oh, you can even walk down too. The lake looks super, super cold. What is there to do here? So me and you, we are exploring this together because I've never been here before. I have no idea what to expect. I'm just going based on like what um, my friend Alan is doing today and he's skilled a few places that he'd like to go. So that's what we're doing today and we're going to be exploring. So it is mostly like, let's say nature, like the really nice mountain views. It's a bit cloudy today. It is sprinkling right now. Um, the flowers particularly here. Uh, as well as like um, just like I saw some like also local veggies as well that they were selling here too but I think it's also like a really um, sort of beautiful scenery here too that's uh, yeah very natural very serene peaceful peacefully oh there you go I think banana. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Alan is right about one thing. There is banana here. I actually missed that. Here is the banana. Can you believe that they can grow this on like really uh, severe weather? Yeah, super cold. Yeah, Alan and I cannot believe that they can grow this in super cold weather. Like, our hands are freezing. It's numb. I'm going to say that again because it is really numb. Lots of veggies here. Uh oh. We have a bridge here. Oh, we reached the end. Okay, guys, we've just reached the end. And it's got a bridge and a really nice mountain view. And that's the end of Bamboo Lake right there. That's the end, guys. So you don't know what you find until you keep going, right? So Alan has just found this waterfall here. That's so cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a mini waterfall right there. That's so cool. And that is very beautiful as well. Wow. So we wanted to be warm, so we ended up coming to Young Mansion Visitor Central Park. And it's pretty cool because like, it's got like, some artwork here and then it also tells you like the story of uh, the volcano as well so here is the story of the Dayton volcano group and it looks like a volcano in here so it was born with an eruption 800,000 years ago when the red magma rose from deep under the sea to spew from the ruptured surface of the earth and gradually uh, accumulated to form the mountain we see today I really like this look how cool this is that look amazing so see how this is actually like um, this whole floor actually shakes uh, it's kind of like it's it's like setting up the scene right now see how they're going up and it's See, 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 oh, this whole thing is shaking. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's shaking. Oh, cool. So that's formation 2.5 million years ago, 800,000 years ago, 700,000 years ago, and that's the present. It's like completely broken down, and they've got mountains on top now. 
but it used to have steam coming up. Super, super, super cool. So it's actually when you step on this, it, it turns on because this was like light just then. And then now it's like so cool. And then it's showing, oh, guess what? It's actually showing you the eruption process. So right now, um, like I just stepped on it. So they're uh, just starting the process of it. Let's see, so now it's going a little bit red. I think it's going a little bit red or is it just me? Oh, there you go. Oh, this whole thing is shaking. Oh my goodness. Like I can feel it, it's like vibrating so much. See how that rock is vibrating? I don't know if you guys can see it. Ah, ah, just jammed my leg on that. Wow. So guys, I'm just gonna show you the eruption process of what it looks like. lava starts to come out and I was watching it burn oh. this whole thing's shaking shows you like the lava coming down this way too. Feel my little butterflies there. Oh, how crazy this is! So this is a good way to actually learn about the uh, insects and snakes that uh, in this area in Yangshan. They also have these little guys here. Yeah. Oh. I just stood right in front of it and the sound worked. There must be like some censoring system here as well. Because it happened when I went under the uh, volcano thing. Whoa. See? What is going on? This is like super interactive. I love it. Alright, what's this? It tells you a little bit about it that these guys are only distributed and can be seen in May to June. Okay. Well, 
Oh guys, that was a cute little museum and I think I finished the tour here. Okay, so we've just walked straight and right and then we got to a sign here that says Flower Clock. We are heading to the Flower Clock and Observation Pavilion, I think. But as you go down this road, this is how you can tell where is the place. Um, this is an amazing place right here. Uh, you can just chill and oversee the flowers. So this here is all the flowers here. And we're just going to walk down and explore. Let go. Oh, we should get inside there. I think there's a pavilion over there. We're going to go check out that flower clock. Um, and we're going to go check out to see what else they have here. Uh, I think there's some flowers. Yeah, okay. So they're blooming here as well. these ones here. Wow, they're so pretty in purple. <laughs> there are roses over there as well. Oh, these ones are super pretty. This pink one right here. Wow, check that one out. They're super nice. And these trees are still growing in winter as well. I'm very surprised about that. Mm. So, like I said, guys, I have no clue what I'm doing. I am uh, planning to just walk with the signs. I, it is getting really cold. Um, and we're just going to check out which way to go. So that's the highway, we'll come back to the highway. We head that way, there's an observation pavilion that way. So should we go that way or should we go straight? Because the guy said there's a flower clock if we go straight. So let's go straight instead and see what they have. Ooh, so we actually decided to go left instead to see the observatory clock here. It's cold. This is what it looks like. Did I say observatory clock? I mean observatory for pagoda. That's what it really meant. Ooh. Wow, this the breeze is very chilly. But look at that. Wow, this is the amazing view we see at the top. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, there's some trees over there with uh, kind of looks like roses, but like pink flower leaves that look like roses. I don't know if they're actually roses. And there's uh, some of these as well. Whew. So this is the uh, 360 view of the place and the observatory pagoda and we just got back to the start. <sighs> so beautiful. So it is freezing right now, so Alan is going to get a ginger milk tea, a hot one actually. This is what they have here, and he's paying 60 for it. Oh, oh, look at that, pepper and tofu. Mala tofu. Mala tofu, wow. There it is, the hot tea over there. Oh, so they put milk and the ginger tea over there? That one's ginger tea. Wow. Ginger will make me warm. I think ginger would definitely make you warm. Yeah, yeah. Alan's really cold today. I wish I could soak my head in ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your ginger tea. 60. 60. 60. Look at that cup. 
Oh, we have China there. Costa Rica. Mm. All right, guys, we're going to be walking in that beautiful garden right there. It is absolutely stunning. Um, it is. I'm holding it because it's really warm. <laughs> that smells super gingery. <laughs> Alright guys, so just as we got here actually, um, just with the hot tea itself, uh, they sell food in there too. And there's like a few like vendors here that sell like uh, corn dog, uh, what's it called, corn, potato, and uh, like sausages as well, so like barbecue meat. But this here is absolutely stunning. This good. area here. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So the Taipei city government has actually created this new area. Um, it was previously a underused uh, parking lot. So they removed everything and they started planting like cherry trees here. Um, suddenly making like these man-made things here. Like this lake and a huge flower clock as well. So that's what we're going to be checking out. Um, now. Just as we're walking here, there's a really nice, um, what's it called? Like area, look at that. So there's like a shrine up there, there's a little bit of waterfall here. Some places you can take pictures and just like very adorable sort of walkway. But you know what it also reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of like Japan blossoming season with the Sakura leaves. I think it's called Sakura leaves, but yeah, it's beautiful here. Wow, look at this. Alright. It's really, really cold right now. I'm like gonna keep saying that because uh, it is really cold and I'm, I am not. Uh, what's it called? I can't even think right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, I think mean, like. If you do come to Taiwan in uh, springtime, it is beautiful. Because we come in winter time, like I think the flowers and the leaves have been really, really um, not really, I guess, appropriate for the weather. Really, it's like the season where you're, um, it's like the leaves are falling off. So, do, 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 do. come on, guys, let's do this. We're gonna make it to the clock, and I'm gonna show you guys the clock. Because it's right there. Wow. Oh, it's cold. All right, guys, we have just made it to the clock. This here is Yamanshan National Park and this is what the clock looks like. So we went on a few adventures today and uh, I think we're going to leave it for today in terms of the video. We visited a few places and uh, it was very nice up here actually. It's easy and accessible so... Sorry, it's just like <laughs> the clock just started making like noises. I think it hit 2 o'clock or oh, 1 o'clock and it starts making like... 1 p.m.? Oh, that's why it's making music. Interesting. Wow, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's like a Chinese sort of like theme song or something. Um, but on top of that, so we visited quite a few places here. It's uh, easily accessible by bus, but the only thing is like you gotta wait like a couple of minutes, like 15, 30 minutes to actually get on the bus to travel around to different areas. Um, it depends on what you want to see. So, you know, my recommendation as well is before I actually came here, I should have visited the visitor center because the visitor center, once you go in, they're able to tell you exactly where to go and what to do based on what your schedule is like. So we didn't do that, unfortunately, but you know, just if you do happen to travel here and go to this place, definitely recommend the, the visitor center will tell you everything, right? And uh, that way you can plan your trip a little bit better and as well as see the locations and the walkways and the hiking trails as well as like the locations you want to see. So that's all I have for you today. So if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and we'll be back for more. All right, see you guys later and have a good one. All right, bye everyone.